Yo, what's up guys? So today I have two things I gotta figure out. One, I gotta figure out what to do with all these bags of implant cartridges that I have lying around. These guys are just taking up a bunch of space. Second, I have an all-on-four surgery that I'm doing, all-on X surgery, sorry. Let's check out the surgery first, knock that out of the way. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with this. Today's kind of a long day. I'm doing an all on X procedure for the lower jaw, placing four implants and immediately loading them. So here's how the patient looked when she first came to us. So this patient came in with a broken bridge uh, on the lower anteriors. It was splintered across all the anterior teeth. It just broke off at the gum line. She's got a bunch of infection, actually really big infection on the bottom right and a pretty good sized defect too. So we're gonna have to work around that. Bunch of missing teeth up top. So this is gonna be a really interesting case. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is take a look at the x-ray. I got my dad with me, he's helping me out on the case. All right, so here's how the surgery went. Mind you, if I went over the entire surgery with you right now, it'll like literally take like three hours. So let's just hit the highlights. Those teeth were easy peasy lemon squeezy, now ready for alveoplasty. Alveoplasty is done and ready to place some implants. And there you have it, all the implant surgery is done and now we have to take this regular denture and convert it into an immediate load prosthesis. I'll show you how I convert a denture. So implants have been placed already, multi-unit abutments are on, healing abutments are, are on, and now I take the, the, the denture that I'm delivering, so the denture that I'm using for my conversion, I put some bite registration inside of it and I seat it in the patient's mouth. And so that's gonna help me see exactly where my implants are located relative to my denture. So see, we look at the underside of, of this denture and you see that the bite registration clearly marked where each implant site is. Cylinders on, they have PVS inside of them to help protect the access hole. Uh, because the last thing you want is acrylic getting into your access holes. That's happened to me before. Anyway, I put a little bit of acrylic around the temp cylinder. <clears throat> you gotta be really careful because you don't want it to actually seep into the tissues and lock on around your multi-unit, so be super careful. Use a rubber dam if you're, you're, if, you know, if you're not super experienced at it. Anyway, I put the denture on. Here you see me kind of like messing with it because the, the bite registration had like flipped or something. But anyway, now I take a monogic syringe and I really quickly squirt the rest of that acrylic around the temporary cylinders. That acrylic is going to set up with the acrylic that I had initially put around the cylinders. I'm going to do a quick swipe and I'm going to have the patient bite down all the way just so I can reconfirm that it's at the occlusion that I want. So <clears throat> I have the patient open up just a couple seconds after she bit down. That's super important because sometimes your acrylic can set and lock.
side and this is ready to deliver. All right, so surgery's out of the way, all done, and I think I figured out now what to do with these guys. So this quarter's been particularly stressful, a lot of different things going on, and sometimes you just gotta light something on fire. So that was definitely some much needed therapy. So now I gotta start thinking about what I'm gonna do to the next one. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later.